finally got on and did some work on this. It's been about a week since I touched it. I've had other things to do which have dragged me away from this, unfortunately. But we've got all the paint on now and all the brass parts have been cleaned up, polished, etc. The only thing I've got left to do is to remake the regulator valve. Okay, which is this little matey here which shouldn't be too difficult. <coughs> but I can start the reassembly, but I don't need to worry about that. I can f make that and fit that once the thing's all back together. So I'm gonna start the reassembly. I'm not gonna film it. You saw me take it apart. It's exactly the same reverse process, obviously. Um, and I'll bring it back when it's, um, when it's back together. It's finished, hooray. We can actually attempt to steam this thing. So I think it looks quite nice. I mean, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> You know, one of the advantages with scratch built models like this, um, I've got no idea what the original owner wanted this thing to look like. <clears throat> so I've got a bit of license with uh, what I can do. We do know that obviously this, the uh, chimney was originally black, but I prefer it brass, so I've not painted it. But yeah, I think it's come out okay. It's, it's uh, I think it looks quite nice. Uh, the engine turns over really well. I did run the engine on air and that, and it runs fine. Uh, but of course, as we all know, that doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean it's gonna run on steam. <laughs> Uh, I've remade or made a new regulator valve for the uh, steam dome there that uh, seems to work okay again we haven't uh, <laughs> run it on steam so I, I don't know how well that's going to function once we get once it all gets hot but yeah um, it's it's all done it's all ready to go the only thing I haven't done quite yet is I haven't painted and uh, refurbished the burner, but we're not gonna be using the burner anyway to run it. So um, I will do that. I'm gonna give it a going over with a wire brush and then paint it with some high temperature engine paint. But no, I, I think it. I think it's turned out okay. I, I, I think it's quite, uh, you know, quite nice. Quite a nice, a, nice, a nice little plant. So, right, let's get on and see whether the thing will run on steam. Right, water in the boiler. The gas burner is lit and it's on, and the things are smouldering away nicely. Now, this boiler, as you can see, doesn't have any kind of a water gauge. So, what I did was simple, really. You, I just fill the boiler up right up to the very brim, and then measure the amount of water that's in it. It's quite a large boiler; it takes 450 milliliters to fill it up. So I put just over 200 milliliters of in there, and hopefully that will that will be plenty to. Uh, uh, to get this thing going so yeah we'll just leave it and um, we'll come back when we've got a bit of pressure up well I think we're about there yes lovely and it's so quiet beautiful Let's see if the regulator works it does! Well, hey! And it doesn't appear to be leaking. There's a slight leak of steam out of here. Maybe that pipe's cracked, it's very difficult. This is why you can't tell when you run it on air, because you can't see anything. But as soon as you run it on steam, you'll see any leaks. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I'm well impressed with that. And it's always so good to see steam coming out of the chimney. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So, close in on the engine. I've only got the little tiny, uh, not the round Bix burner, but the very small rectangular one in there. Oh, that is so, that is smooth as silk. I do like it when, when an engine runs nicely. Yeah, I, I, I think whoever made this, you know, definitely did a good job. It's, 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 uh, flywheel is running true. The, the fit of the crankshaft in the crank tube here very very good no play anywhere in any of it
And of course, with this sort of large capacity boiler, I mean, this thing will run for forever. <laughs> As I said, I can't I can't believe just now quite this thing. Now obviously before running I did lube it up. There's uh, steam oil in the uh, displacement lubricator. That's been uh, that was oiled up and all the moving parts were oiled with steam oil on the um, engine plate and then just three in one lubricating oil on the other moving parts. I mean that that is that is that is just lovely. Well, I'm not going to let it run at that speed for too long. Cause... I prefer steam engines to run slowly, and uh, I'm so pleased that my little regulator worked. Uh, but obviously, basically took measurements off of the one that was in there and um, extended them a bit and put a handle on it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I do love, I do love to see steam coming out of the chimney. It's just superb. What a lovely engine! I, I... Credit to everyone, to the person that made this. I mean, just, they did a really good job. All right, the soldering I admit is not up to scratch. I have cleaned up a lot of the soldering because it was, it was pretty much troweled on, as you probably remember when we first looked at this. But no, this is this is just this is just lovely. Pull the boner out so you can see which one I'm using. Right. It's it's that one. Yeah, so we can get it to run. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? You get an oscillator running that slow, there is nothing wrong with it at all. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll give it a little bit more. You gotta remember that the regulator is not a needle or anything like that, it's simply a hole <laughs> in a brass rod which is being turned, and as you turn it, you're slowly closing the hole. So it's not a fine regulator. <laughs> I think if I can, if I fix this steam leak, there's a very slight steam leak coming out of this pipe. Maybe it's cracked. Could be, but I don't know. It's only copper. If I could, fi if I fix that, you probably get it to run even slower than that. So there you go. Large scratch built oscillating steam plant. Right, I think we'll turn the gas off. <coughs> no, I'm well pleased with that. 
so that'll be it I think really for this uh, turned out really well well pleased with it and um, as always I hope you've enjoyed the videos and uh, thanks for watching it's gonna run for a while I think with a boiler that size but, uh, What a lovely engine. Okay, I've got the uh, regulator right wide open now. No gas. <coughs> Well, there we go. And we ran for quite a while after the, the heat was turned off. <clears throat> Can't ask for anything more. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.